What's up, everyone? Um, just a little update. I don't know if this camera is going to work too well, but um, a lot of people have been asking about my Civic. So I'm going to give you a little update because since it's been about six months since I did the last video of when it be before it was even finished, honestly, and it was on jack stands. But let me get to that real quick. Open the hood. Um, since since I posted that video. Um, the stock motor has been taken out, and the, um, bear with me, and I've had a, a built motor put in, it is a, uh, stock sleeve GSR, 81.5 millimeter CSS, Eagle H-beams, um, bicycle pistons 10 to 1, a B-16 head, with valve springs retainers, GSR cams, and a TSM T3 top mount, a GT30, GTX 3582R, same one the Boosted Boys use, billet wheel, dual ball bearing, um, custom downpipe, 3 inch intercooler piping, um, CRV trans, Stock shifter cables, um, stock CRV driveline for now, honestly. The five lug type R wheels, and then same thing in the rear. Let me uh, pop the trunk. You get this terrible mess that I have here. Um, let me put the flashlight on for my phone. But as you can see, I had an issue where the tabs on the fuel cell broke off. In there, there's one left. One tab, I don't know if you can see that. And then on this side and all the way around the rest, they broke off. So I made a little carriage. You kind of see the angle, angle steel right there. Hold it in, and I'm just working on making a mounting system instead of this ratchet strap. Um, for the rear, I used a... Uh, my bad, there's a shadow bed. A CRV subframe, uh, banged the mounting plates off, welded them in. CRV rear end, the, um, the prototype front bracing I made was terrible. It bent a little bit. Um, I welded in a gusset. It's kind of just like it is what it is. Um, changing all this since I got it tuned. Um, otherwise, it works pretty well. The rear could hold more power, so. Um, I'm currently going to put in a a wagon drive shaft with um, I'm either going to pin the CRV rear or I'm going to put in this right here. I've got I'm um, switching back to four lug. I've got wagon trailing arms that I cut already. I have the CRV drive shaft. I mean. Sorry, wagon drive shaft, wagon rear end right here. Uh, either putting the wagon rear end in or I'm gonna pin the CRV rear end. And then uh, all this steel right here, going to be uh, upgrading that front bracing. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I've been pretty busy, so I bought a house and whatever. So now I got a garage to do this in, instead of in my backyard. So, um. Yeah, she's coming along. If you guys have any questions or whatever, hit me up. I try to keep on top of it whenever I get a notification. Um, the car made 462 horsepower front wheel drive, disconnected the drive shaft. Um, it is on 17 pounds, uh, 10 pounds first and second, and then full boost for the rest. And uh, that's about it. It was tuned on a Dyno Dynamics Dyno. From what I understand, they read a little bit lower than Dyno Jet. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, any questions? Till next time, I'll probably make another video once I upgrade the rear. And um, that's all I got for you guys today. I also have stock sheet CRV shifter, which is kind of big. Um, 
Yeah, but the car runs and drives. For all those who are wondering what happened to it, I know some of, some of the comments have been uh, some of the comments have been uh, wondering, hey, does everything ever drive? Whatever. Yeah, I've been driving it since I want to say May of 2018. I've been driving it nonstop, and then, well, not nonstop. In August, I took it off the road because uh, I just wasn't happy with the power that it was making. The stock motor. Mind you, I'm freezing right now. Um, stock motor made 389 on a BS Ram horn and uh, like one of those $150 eBay turbos on like 14 pounds. So I uh, took it all out, put the build setup in, and now I'm just going to keep upgrading. And uh, I'm looking forward to be like a 10.0 daily driver on um, street tires. Maybe even a 990 would be nice. But um, yeah, all right, yo. Peace.